All right, what's good, YouTube? Um, I'm back with another video. I'm picking up my kids from school right now. I want to start doing more videos that cater toward how we run our business as barbers. I just want to give all the advice I can. I'm sure it's going to help somebody eventually. This is the very first one. I'm on my lunch break right now. I'm picking up my kids from school, so... You know, eating in the car. You already know barber life. You already know how the barber life go. I want to talk to y'all about booking apps, how you book your appointments. Now, me personally, I use Booksy. If you don't know what Booksy is, where have you been? I hope y'all are not out here still using pencil and paper to write down y'all appointments. At least get a website. There's plenty of websites out here. There's things you can use for free. There's the cut. Booksy is a booking app. It has a lot of tools for you to use. Makes it easier to organize your clients and things like that. You can use Booksy as a point of sale i don't but you can you definitely can it has marketing tools in there it has all kinds of stuff it has tools for instagram social media of course it has tools for all that now with booksy you can cancel clients they can cancel themselves you can mark them as a no call no show it'll keep basically how many times they showed up how many times they canceled how many times they did no call no shows and i think that's important for me you can block clients as well it'll just show that you're booked forever now i use that a lot my black list is very long because i don't want to cut nobody who's not going to take my time very serious one of the best things is something called boost as long as you meet the requirements they'll put you at the top on booksy in your area that way anybody who opens the app and is near you you're going to show up first over a lot of other people now when you do that it's not like they charge you a huge fee or anything like that they're only going to charge you if someone books with you now if someone books with you and they think they sent them you can claim that client and say no this was a referral from this other client if they do send them to you they only take a percentage of that very first haircut anything after that is all yours and to me i think that's a great deal because that client can come to you 100 more times you only have to pay them a percentage of that very first haircut that's it one of the other reasons i like booksy they make custom instagram messages and content for you and all you have to do is upload it you can literally customize it all yourself on the app it's a very easy to use app i know a lot of people use a lot of different things jose was using J book booksy bought out a lot of its competitors and they closed the company down some people like booksy some people don't it's all preference but there's not many other apps anymore a lot of people are making their own website and with their own website they're making it to where you can book through their website and they'll just get notifications on their phone now that's cool but if i don't have a clientele and i move to somewhere new nobody's just gonna look me up and say hey let me just book on this website with booksy they can see your portfolio they can see your work if you move to a different state your reviews go with you so it makes it easier to rebuild somewhere else as well and there's a big community of people who use the Booksy app who come from other states as well. So a lot of those people who come from other states, if you're on Booksy, they'll click on you first nine times out of 10 if you're the best in your area. Now, when I moved out here from Washington, I was a five-star barber, of course, I still am. That helped me gain a lot of clients just from booksy alone it wasn't as hard as it would have been if i wasn't using booksy i got a lot of new clients i had people coming in of course i use instagram hashtags as well but a lot more people found me on booksy than anywhere the best part about that is that people are still getting on to booksy a lot of people there's still a good amount of people in the world who don't know about booksy and eventually they'll get on it and once they do they'll find you also if you have clients who don't use booksy you can put their phone number in in the information bar and every time they set an appointment with you, you put it on there manually, Booksy will send that client a text message. Eventually they're gonna get annoyed with the text messages and they're gonna sign up for the app and start using Booksy. That's just how it works. Now, as far as point of sale, I probably used it once and it did take a while for me to get my money. I think it took a week, but that's not something I use for point of sale. I'm using a lot of different other things, Square. I use Venmo, Cash App. I use those because it's convenient but it's all based off opinion you have to use what's most convenient for you or what you think is best for you and your clients now you can set it up on the app to where people have to put in their card information before they book with you but me personally I just I send them a text message on my book see I'm under a venue the venue is the name of the barbershop but my account is not financially connected to Jose's account so we have our own accounts but it's under one venue as well so if you look up era barber studio we're under that venue It'll show his account, it'll show my account. You click on mine, it'll show you all my services. You click on his, it'll show you all his services, his portfolio, reviews, all that. They make it easier for you to run your own business your kind of way. I can have different prices from Jose. I can do all that based off this app. There's a support. You can message customer service 
24 hours, they'll respond pretty fast. You don't have to get on the phone and say, hey, I have an issue with this, I have an issue with that. You can call them as well, they have a phone number. As far as marketing goes, you can email all your clients at the tap of a button. You can customize the message they see in their email or text message. You can send text messages and emails at the same time and customize it however you want to say whatever you want. Holidays, that works if you're raising your prices, that works if you're gonna be out a specific day. It helps a lot. You can also run promotions. Let's say lunchtime on Wednesdays, all haircuts are 15% off, 20% off, $5 off. You can do that through the app. It keeps track of how many clients you cut, how much money you make if you check your client out. You can check every single client out and tell Booksy they paid cash. You don't have to record your tips and all that on the app. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I don't, I keep track of a completely different way. I write down what I make every single day in an app and it adds it all up. It keeps track of how many clients you cut a day. You can send clients receipts through the app. You can also search for your clients by phone number. That's one thing that helped me a lot because in my contacts, I just have a bunch of text messages and people's phone numbers. I have no idea who they are. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't save many clients' phone numbers. All I have to do is type their phone number in on Booksy or even half of their phone number and their name will pop up. This is who this is. Oh, okay. So now I know what to say. I think Booksy is one of the greatest tools for us barbers. Please do not be out here writing down your clients with pen and paper. We're so past that there's way too much technology for you to be doing that still. Please get something electronic. It's easier for the clients as well. A lot of clients, they book appointments with me on Booksy at like two in the morning sometimes. 90% of the clients that book with me are booking after hours or days that I'm off work, which works for me. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to worry about your phone ringing all day. You don't have to reply to text messages, any of that. Now, let me tell you one thing. People can only leave reviews on Booksy if they've came to your shop and you check them out. If you mark them as a no call, no show, they're not gonna be able to leave a review. If you cancel their appointment, they're not gonna be able to leave a review. All of your reviews can only only come from people you cashed out so make sure that you cash out your clients you can just put oh they pay cash even if they pay Venmo or cash app or whatever you can put they pay cash perfect you can't get reviews just from random people who haven't been to your shop they're only gonna send a link to people who you've cut already so make sure your clients know that you need these reviews they do make sure you're higher on booksy the more reviews you have I believe that's it for this video I have a reference code I will leave it down in the description make sure you like subscribe let me know what y'all want to see next. I'm going to keep these topics coming. I have a lot in store for you guys on topics of how to run your business. This account is for students more than anybody. I made this account to give people advice that I was giving new barbers that came to the shop. So I wanted to make it easier for not only the people I know, but for people I don't know. Maybe, you know, you have an idea or you want to know how something works. I want to make sure I give all the advice I can. Like, subscribe, share this video with somebody you think needs it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are using as far as apps or as far as just booking your appointments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.